Okay, let's make a start. Tēnā koutou katoa. Welcome, everybody, to our additional council meeting uh, held on the 23rd of July, 2024. Um, this meeting will be held via Zoom only, uh, and the recording will be uploaded to the council's YouTube page as soon as practicable after the meeting. So warm welcome to everybody. Um, also, welcome to Stephen Hill, who's joining us, and our independent chair for our PAR committee, Simon Neal, uh, and all of our councillors. Um, uh, two and our ERT as well. So do we have any apologies first up? I can formally take them. So yes, Rebecca. Uh, just an apology for Councillor Linwood. Thank you. And also an apology for uh, Mayor Gary Kutcher. Can I have someone move um, that we accept the two apologies? No, move. Yeah. Uh, moved by Again. Councillor Jim Hopkins, seconded by Councillor Guy Percival. All in favour, say aye. Aye. Thank you. That's carried. Um, no conflicts of interest or are there any other conflicts of interest? I'm just asking just in case. Uh, Councillor Ryan, you had your hand up. No, maybe she's left it up from putting the apology through for Councillor Linwood. Okay, we'll go straight to the um, to the report that's prepared. Um, so we have 4.1, if we can go to that. Um, so we have a resolution to accept or defer a late agenda item um, that's put in front of us. Do I pass it to you, Alex or Lisa, to put it through or...? If you need to say anything, or just quite straightforward. Madam Chair, I'm happy to move um, recommendation that Council decides pursuant, etc. And then um, then the Council decides A, in other words, to accept two late agenda items, public and title public minutes, and adoption of initial proposal for representation review for consideration. Right. Although I think at this stage we don't have the um, public minutes, so it may, that may need to be amended. Okay, yes, if so I may, through you, Chair, um, okay. it's the Governance Advisor here. Yes, I am proposing that you amend A to say accept one late agenda item, public entitled adoption of initial proposal for representation review 2024 for consideration at this additional council meeting. End nice of that. recommendation. I so move. Okay, thank you for that. Um, to our governance advisor, moved um, with the amendment. So just having the one late agenda item moved by Councillor Jim Hopkins. Do I have someone second that? I'll second that, Madam Chair. Um, thank you. Was that Councillor Thompson? That's correct. Thank you. You went on my screen before, but okay. So moved by Councillor, seconded by Councillor Thompson. All in favour? Aye. 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 Okay, aye, that's carried. Thank you very much. We move to the next item. 4.3, is it? Okay, so if we can move to 4.3, adoption of initial proposal for Council's representation review, uh, 2024. Um, so we have some recommendations there. Um, can I invite is it Mrs Bailey or... Alex Palmley or our governance advisor, just say a few words to introduce this report, please. I've got my mic off there, beating you to it, Alex. Um, I think that um, it will go straight to the author of this, um, Ms. Hooper, to perhaps uh, introduce this paper. It wasn't long ago that we went through um, this in great depth. So just to highlight what's been put in front of us today, if I could do that, please. Thank you, Mrs. Bailey, and through you, Madam Chair. Oh, something's not right there. Sorry, we just got a production matter. Screen has changed. I'll just change it back. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sorry, you won't necessarily be able to see me. Um, I'll just move seats here into the chamber. Let me 
So through you, Madam Chair, and sorry for the having to move from site to site. So um, thank you for your time this afternoon, councillors. Um, it's our pleasure to bring to you today this report which consolidates information and discussions that have been held previously with council and community board chairs relating to council's preparations for its representation review in 2024. There is no new information in the report. The content has been restructured to present the report and its recommendations in the right format to get it ready for public consultation in accordance with the relevant legislation requirements. It is acknowledged that this report and its attachments contain some repeated information that you've received at previous workshops and also at the additional council meeting on the 11th of July, 2024. There is a need for this report to stand on its own because it will be part of the documentation that we'll need to supply to the Local Government Commission when we seek an exemption for the Ahurere Ward, its councillor and the community board due to that ward's non-compliance with the plus minus 10% requirement under the legislation. So on that note, we do have our advisor, Mr Stephen Hill from electionsnz.com available for any particular questions, but I'm um, also here to help with those. So back to you, Ms. Madam Chair. Uh, thank you for that uh, introduction for the report. Um, are there any questions or comments? Uh, yes, Councillor Hopkins. Yeah, look, I had one question. I, um, I think I know the answer, but I will answer, ask it as much as anything so that the public um, get the response. Um, the meeting on July the 11th actually included a vote, um, which was pretty substantial and pretty clear, and that vote was for the status quo. And it was advised, we were advised at the time that that would go forward to today as the one option to be presented. I'm just curious, we've had an awful lot of information put to us. We haven't seen the minutes. I'm just curious uh, to ask why the vote on July the 11th hasn't been included in this material, if only for the benefit of the public, so that they can understand the process that's been undertaken and the, deb and the debate and the discussion we have previously had. Through you, Madam Chair, yes, that's a, a resourcing issue. My uh, apologies for that. I had intended to put the, the minutes to you. Um, the recording of that meeting is actually on the website, so the, the public are aware of what happened on that day. And it, this is a status quo option, and it's been recorded as that in the officer report. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, any other questions or queries? Madam Chair, um, as the <clears throat> mover of the motion on July 11th, I'm happy to actually move the recommendations um, as put in front of us today. And I would be happy to second them. Thank you. Um, so we have a number of recommendations that are outlined here, but also noting that um, there was also a vote um, that was made on the 11th of July that had um, supported what's put in front of us um, today. So I have a, a motion to move from Councillor Jim Thompson and a seconded by Councillor Jim Hopkins. Any other speakers or uh, anyone? Do we put it to the vote? Yes, look, there is one thing. Um, we've, we've now received everything, including the consultation document, which uh, arrived um, earlier today. Um, and it's on, uh, if we go to, it, it comes it comes immediately after the 40 pages of this agenda. Um, uh, we, were, we have been told that um, there may need to be some tweaks to that. I, may I say, first of all, I think I'm, you know, I congratulate the authors of the document because I think the language is simple and um, uh, and plain and easily understood. The one thing I would ask the chief executive to give some attention to is the information on page three 
note that rates aren't affected by the number of elected members. Now, I've read this, and I, it seems to me that it's quite possible that people will equate the amount of money paid to councillors with the number of councillors there are, in the same way that they sometimes think an increase in capital value for, for, by, for, for their properties automatically e equals uh, an equivalent increase in rates. And I just think, um, I don't mean to be, I, what I'm saying is I understand the wording of that paragraph in grey on the right-hand side of page three, note that rates aren't affected by the number of elected members, and then it goes on, I won't read it all, but I believe it's an important matter, and I believe it could be more simply put. And to the extent that we've been told that there is to be some minor changes um, and tweaks to that consultation document after today's meeting, I would ask uh, Mr Palmley and Ms Bailey to pay particular attention to that section because I think it could be and should be more clearly explained. Thank, Thank you, Councillor. Madam Chair, yes, we had intended to do that, or we, we only had time at the moment to take the extract from the report, but we will um, tweak it so that it does come across as a, as a simpler message. The key message was in both the 11 July um, discussion and also in the officer report, but we will we are intending to rephrase that. We just had a quick discussion about putting something in there this morning. So thank you, Councillor. We have got that on our to do list for the tidying up process. No, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you for that. And I think it can be covered under recommendation number eight, um, yeah. right at the end, in terms of delegating to the CE the responsibility of yeah. making any required minor changes. So thank you for that, uh, Councillor Hopkins, and for the clarification um, to our governance advisor. Um, any other questions or comments before we put this to a vote? Okay, complete silence. All right, I take it from that that we are ready to put this to a vote. Um, so there are eight recommendations in front of us. They're all outlined. They were previously discussed on the 11th of July and there has been no um, particular changes of material um, that we need to go through and that there's also the consultation document that will accompany um, this for public consultation. So are we ready to, um, are we happy to move this mm -hmm. in full? Recommendations from one right through to number eight. Okay. Will we put it to a vote all in favour? All right. Aye. Aye. Uh, those against? Okay, carried. I think that completes that part of our meeting. Um, are there any other matters that were supposed to be um, needing to ratify today? That concludes the business on the agenda, Madam Chair. It was just this... Um, adoption of the initial proposal. So just to let you know, that will now go out for public consultation. The consultation process will start on Friday the 2nd of August and go through to Wednesday the 4th of September. There are other dates listed in the timeline that's included in the officer report and all of that will be available on the um, council website along with a consultation document. So the notice of um, the initial proposal will go out as soon as possible. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. I think that concludes um, our meeting and thank you for that wrap up um, summary there, Ms. Hooper. Uh, thank you everybody for joining today. I think we'll draw our meeting to a close. Thank you to Stephen Hill for joining um, as well as um, Simon Neal. And thank you to all of our elected members and our um, exec uh, leadership team as well. Thank you. I think that we declare the meeting closed. You can go back to what you were doing before. Thank you.